do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been pacing circles in my bedroom I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom Let me do what I do best, slow down, let me talk to you Don't tell me about your worries, I ain't staying till the afternoon I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been placing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirloom Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel Today is another video and I am just going to be showing you guys exactly how I have productive mornings to set the tone of my day. But before we get started with the video, I want to thank Dossier for partnering with me in this video. As we know, Dossier is the bomb.com baby. They have affordable, high quality, luxe inspired perfume and cologne and i think it's just an amazing brand at an affordable price they have a variety of different high quality luxe fragrances and you guys hands down i am really in love with this company and i have been i'm wearing the amberry saffron which is inspired by baccarat rouge 540 actually at the moment that fragrance is very very popular i'm seeing it all over the internet it smells so good. my bottle is almost gone like i've been using this up sweetie <laughs> and another thing that i love about dossier is that they put in a sample before you actually use the bottle and i love that they do this especially because if you don't know what a scent smells like on your body in your chemistry you don't want to waste your money so i love that they put in a sample for you to use first so that you can see if this is the fragrance for you if not then you can return it you can either get your money back or you can get an exchange using one of these samples i like to keep this with me in my purse so that i don't have to bring a big old bottle i feel like that's just a plus and that's how i do it so i definitely suggest looking into dossier a i do have a discount code for jose 10 if you guys are interested in getting 10 percent off of your purchase definitely use that code i would definitely have everything linked in the description below so you guys can check it out go over there they have so many different fragrances to choose from so definitely have fun with it you guys and i also want to thank dossier for partnering with me in this video once again i love you guys so much and let's get into this video I know that I don't feel okay I hate it cause it's every day I'm making up my own mistakes I'm hoping that I'll be replaced I'm waiting cause you're in my way I hate it cause it's every day I feel alone even if you surround me I need you now, can you be around me? Oh baby, I'm afraid to feel nothing I know that you can make me feel something Don't tell me that you're not good for me You don't know the half for me I hate being around me If you're not okay, not okay no. And even if it's every day, every, day, every day Just take the time to fix mistakes I know you'll be okay I hope you'll never be replaced I feel alone even if you surround me I need you now, can you be around me? Oh baby, I'm afraid to feel nothing I know that you can make me feel so They gonna hear my voice Ain't gonna make my choice I'm gonna make some noise in my life, baby they gonna watch my words, ain't gonna write my verse I'm 
I'm gonna make this yours before it's mine, baby. getting dressed and I didn't do no makeup or anything today um I will be probably doing makeup more than likely tomorrow because I'm gonna be filming but um today's just a slow day because I already figured it was going to be because I had to pick up my cousin from the airport really late at night yesterday and so I am just still trying to like get in together and process everything and just like I had to go to the gym this morning and I'm just really tired so that's that and so I don't know I just feel like it's just one of those days all right you guys so let me turn this down for a second so I just called and um, they said they'll be out with my airpods it was a pretty easy um, thing well the first time I called they hung up on me figures it's Walmart Walmart, I'm sorry to say this, and I know it just probably isn't the right thing to say. Walmart in general, like just the company in itself, is fine. It's the people that come to Walmart that makes it ghetto. So, it's just like this Walmart that I go to is kind of ghetto. Like, we're in the ghetto. People are just, it's just all types of different people that I just don't. It's annoying people parking in places they're not supposed to park, sitting in places they're not supposed to be sitting. They want to get mad at you. It's just a whole thing in itself. Scan it. I'm good? Oh, okay. All right, thanks. You too. Here are the headphones. As we all know what Apple Air AirPods look like. These were actually pretty cheap, I thought, because when I looked online at, um, when I went online, on Amazon they were way more expensive so I know what the fake ones look like so <laughs> I know what which, which ones are fake and what's not fake trust me um, and then it comes with the charger nice so I have a brand new charger for it um, nice noise noise but I'm glad though I'm able to bless somebody else with the headphones. Um, Cause someone blessed me with those headphones. I didn't even have to pay. I only paid $40 for those headphones. They're real. They just decided they wanted to give it to me. So, and then, uh oh. Yeah. Perfect. And this is just basically what they look like y'all. It's just regular headphones and everything like that. I need to go to the bank and then, um, we will be on our merry way back to the house to finish up some stuff. All right, you guys, so we are back to the house now and I actually just got my package in, so I'm actually gonna be testing it out. So <laughs> I'm gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna do a check testing one, two, three for the mic that I have on now and then for the mic that I just got. So you guys can see that if there is a difference and just so that I can see if there's a difference too. So this is a mic that I ended up getting. I will link it down below. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. But the reason why I got this mic is because when I'm out and about vlogging, I always take my mic off when I'm out of my house because that thing is just so noticeable. It's super big. And then it's like if I need to put my, my camera in my purse, I can't do that with that big mic. So 
I just wanted to find something that would be compact, small, but still will get the job done. That doesn't mean I'm not going to use this mic anymore. I'm going to still use that mic. Um, no doubt about that. Um, but I really want to see if this works. Because if this works better and does the job and it's close enough, like and I can always work on the, the audio in post. Um, so when I'm editing. But I'm just hoping that this really will work for me. In here so we're going to do a testing right now so I have my mic on the side because I feel like it's just the best on the side versus on top I'm test so we're gonna just go ahead and test it out so this is currently the Movo mic that I have on so testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three look at now compared to how the the mic was on the side like you can still see the mic here but it's not as um it's like it's not as bulky and big because it like literally extends to about this much so i feel like this is better and i like the fact that i can switch between the mic facing my mouth and then the mic facing the opposite way like that um, the only thing is, is that I read in the reviews that, um, people were saying that it gets very, um, it gets loose after a while, after like going back and forth, it gets really loose and it won't stay. So I know like for the most part, it's going to stay the same because I usually film like with the, the vlog camera facing me instead of it this way in the mirror. I only do this every once in a while when I'm like trying to talk about something, but that's what my thoughts are about the mic. We'll see how it is once I look at it when I am editing, but I'm very, very happy and satisfied. I just love that it's way smaller, and I honestly don't even need this cage on here. Um, so I think I might take the cage off as well because I don't need the cage up there if I'm not going to be putting my mic up there. The only reason why I got the cage is for that specific mic. So I think when I'm not going to be using that mic, then I will take it off. And when I am using it, then I can just place it back on. So, yeah. done eating and I am actually gonna start working on work and then kind of creating some like video ideas I have some stuff that I have to shoot for tomorrow so this portion of the day is just gonna be me trying to come up with concepts come up with like ideas I like to write them down map them out and just kind of get an idea of like what exactly I'm trying to do so then that way I can know when I go to film what I'm doing and I'm not just kind of just going with the flow. I feel like I, I get my best work when I don't go with the flow, when I kind of plan it out. Even though things can change as I'm shooting and filming, but I feel it's better to be a little bit more organized. So at least you have an idea of what you're wanting versus not at all because then it's gonna just take you longer because then you're trying to think. Then you're like, okay, this isn't looking right. Like it's just a whole thing in itself. So. I'm gonna finish up working 
um, tonight is Bible study. So I'll be starting Bible study at 6. And um, so until then, I'm going to be editing and kind of like mapping out ideas and stuff like that. Because as we know, tomorrow is the last day of June. So I want to make sure... Um, I want to make sure that I am prepared for July. So we're hitting the ground running, and that's pretty much it. But I don't know. This is just pretty much how I have a productive morning to basically finish out my day so that it can continue to be productive and I get things done. So this is kind of how I get productive and how I have a productive morning routine to set the tone of my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some kind of way. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see y'all in my next video. <laughs> Peace out y'all, ciao.